Hey guys, I'm Daisho and I am here playing some Magic, and uh, recently everybody's been doing their tier lists and stuff, and I don't really know why. Uh, tier lists are pretty useless in terms of uh, that they that they don't really uh, do anything for you. They're just like information, I guess. But it looks like my opponent had to go down to six. He's probably playing uh, Unquenchable Fire. He just seems like the kind of guy. He's playing really quickly, and um, he's got 60 cards in his deck. I don't know. I feel like he could be playing Unquenchable, which would be really cool because I got these two resembling skeletons. Um, I'll probably play the Hypnotic Spectre turn three. Um, it makes sense, too. Even though there's a good chance he has a kill card for it, I'll at least have to uh, make him spend his turn doing it as opposed to, well, I mean, I could just play the other reassembling skeleton and be happy with that. Um, getting it for two every turn really isn't such a big deal. Oh, wow, he's actually playing Cloudburst, in which case I definitely will play Hypnotic Spectre because he might actually not have the kill spell, though he'll probably at least have a bounce spell for me if he's got five guards in hand. But, I mean, <sighs> on the same thought, um, on the same note, he might not even have anything. He might not even have um, a bounce spell. He could just have a really bad hand. Like, you can't tell. But anyway, ev anyway, everyone's trying to make their tier list, and I really don't know how I would make on exactly. I think I know the bottom tier. It would just be Dragons Roar and Apex Predators. Um, I would probably have more... Um, I'll just mind rod him right here. Uh, I'd probably have more lists, more people on the tier. There you go, shock. I, I expected something like that, but I would probably have more tiers than uh, WG. They said they only had four. I definitely don't think that the that the four decks that they have on in their bottom tier are equally bad. So um, if I were to make a tier list, I would try to make it so that each each deck in the tier is either as bad as each other or almost as bad um, as, as the others. So um, it's not really like it's not a science, obviously, and I, there's no way that you can get it perfect, but I don't know. It's just, you try as, as hard as you can. It looks like Mortivore will be a 2-2 two, two here. Um, that's not that's not too great. Um, I think I'll play Liana Spectre and Reassembling Skeletons this turn. Um, he's going to play a spell in response to me playing this, perhaps. If he does, then he's got zero guards in hand. Um, so that tells me that he does have an instant, but he's probably about to discard it. Otherwise, he would have played it. Um, and, like, this is literally exactly, wow, he just got ridden into, I don't know, I think I would have probably, if I were him, I would have, uh, used the Into the Royal on my reassembling skeleton, and kicked it, and then picked up a new card and just threw away that one, that way at least you get some value out of that card, since it's so good in, in that, in that it, uh, it lets you draw a card, but, um, looks like he's got a Wee Dragonauts. Um, I was about to say that I'm really, really ahead in this game, but We Dragonauts is actually pretty good for him. Um, and it, it makes it so that I'm really not that far ahead. Um, another Swamp. That's not great. But um, I do have four lands now. I could play Mortivore. Hmm. Tough decision here because if I... Well... Actually, it's not really that tough a decision. I'll just play Mona the Unhallowed, and then I can swing with both my reassembling skeletons, get in for one, and then just regenerate the other one. I'll hold back on Liliana Spectre, since there's a good chance that I'll draw a kill card, and then Liliana Spectre will actually do more than basically just allow my reassembling skeleton to just get in for one turn. But either way, I mean, it's a 2-1 flyer. It already has done its job. Wow, he's got another one of those guys. That's pretty good for him. That is definitely uh, a large benefit, but... Um, I would like to pause the game. I'm just like spamming the pause button and it's not... Alright, there we go. <laughs> that would have been really annoying if I couldn't get my skeleton back, but... Um, now I can swing in with the zombies. If he's... In, oh, wow. I got another one. Okay, if he's intelligent, he'll just... Um, he'll double block the zombies, so... Um, I'll just swing in with everyone except for Liliana Spectre. Then I got more zombies to play second main, so... That's looking pretty good, and if... All right, yeah, he's just going to double block. No, he's not. He's just going to take two. I mean, all right, I disagree with that play, but uh, it's him. It's his game, not me. So uh, maybe I should have played Mortifor this turn, actually, because the reason why I hadn't played him is because I wanted to leave mana open just in case I wanted to get a resembling skeleton back, but um, that's obviously not going to happen if none of my resembling skeletons died. So um, I think I just swing in with everyone here, uh, leave the... Liliana Spectre back because, I mean, first of all, I'm leaving it back to block, um, in case in case he gets something really good. But like again, if he had just double blocked last turn, then he would have gained from it. Ether Trade wins. Okay, so make me kill one of my tokens and then make and pick up your guy. 
and then you get to kill my guy. So that was a good that was a good turn for you. Oh wow, he's you know, he's picking up. Oh yeah, he gets to kill two of my tokens this way. He picked up a land. Um, so now he's got two cards in hand. One of them's a land. Uh, I got recently skeleton and mortivore, so I think I'll just play the mortivore here and uh, hold on to the recently skeleton. That way I can regenerate my guy. Um, he's only a 2-2. Two -two. It's really not that big of a deal if he dies, to be honest, but um, Spark Mage killing Liliana Spectre, right? Yep, there you go. Good shit. Okay, so he's, he's making a comeback here. I thought I was way, way ahead, but it looks like it's getting a lot closer. I do I am one land away from getting both, I mean, two, uh, four more zombies, basically, but um, it's looking, oh no, I, I don't need to do anything at end step. Whoops, okay, there we go, we got that land. And I don't even know if I want to play it. I do still swing in with everyone. Um, and now he can't really block my Mortivore. He's just gonna probably double block the, uh, the, the zombie. That'd be the smart play here, I think. There you go. Um, but he still takes five, going down to five. He could block the Mortivore, just chump it. Yep, there you go, he's gonna take two. Um, that's, that's a fair play. And uh, can't can't kill either of them, so it doesn't matter where I sign the damage to. Um, I honestly, uh, Mortivore keeps gaining value, but because who else died? Oh, his Spark Mage died. So Mortivore is gaining value. I really don't want it to die, so I'll just play a Resembling Skeleton and be done with it. Um, man, I'm I'm a little worried. I'm at 20 life, but it's really and he's he's only got two cards in hand though, so I guess that's not such a big deal. But like the thing about his Wee Dragonauts is they can swing in for a ton of damage. There's a another one um, all right well everyone's coming in and maybe I'll just play the fourth one I definitely like running all four of these guys they're so good they're just infinitely returnable it's just really helpful all right what's what do you got for me bro turn the tide okay so uh, that fogs and uh, I do have to regenerate him because he's gonna be taking six damage so um, that was pretty good but it it just buys him one more turn I guess if he gets like couple more land or one more land and he can play Niv Mizzet Niv Mizzet if that's what he's got in his hand um but yep yeah, you do your two damage to one of them and then um just play 15,000 three something skeleton if I were him I would have like rage quit by now and be so pissed like ah oh, there's so many of them they just keep coming back damn it all right he's got six lands now but he doesn't have Niv Mizzet so um that's nice I'll just make him discard whatever he's got I like that play rather than playing the zombies and what was it? Thunder Dragon. Thunder Dragon. <laughs> that works for me. Get in there with everybody. And now he doesn't have any tricks for me. So he's probably just going to block the Mortivore and one of the dudes. I'll get the dude back. And then uh, basically just coast my way to victory here. I don't really have much to worry about right now um, in terms of losing this game. And look at that. That dude's a 7-7. Seven, seven. I'll make him a 6-6. Six, six. Ha! Take that, jerk. And uh, there you go. I don't know why he rage quit there. The game was not nearly over, but I mean, I guess he didn't really have much in his deck that could deal with Mortivore. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that game. That was a pretty good showcase of how my deck can basically control even another control deck. And the opponent I was, def I was playing against was definitely pretty good. So I hope you guys enjoyed that one. Have a nice day. Bye.